Hey, great that you join us. This is a micro bit, and in this mission, you are going to program it. Start up your browser and go to the page, makecode.microbit.org. In this mission, you are going to code a digital compass. First, you are going to create a loop that continuously checks which direction your compass points to. A loop is a part of a computer program that is repeated all the time, also called iteration. If it's not there yet, you grab the forever loop from BASIC. Then make a variable degrees and place the block set degrees to zero in the forever loop. Then choose from input the block compass heading and place it on the zero. I want the compass to point at the right direction. For that, I first need to know which value belongs with which wind direction. Between 315 and 45 degrees, the compass points to the north. Between 45 and 135 to the east. Between 135 and 225 to the south. And between 225 and 315 to the west. To accomplish that, we add an if-then block. Such an if-then block is also called a conditional. It is a comparison to decide if something should or should not be done. This is why you need to place the block OR from logic into it. And also, from logic, 0 is smaller than 0. On the first zero, you place the variable, and the second zero, you change into 45. Duplicate the block with the right mouse click. Change the smaller than character into the greater than character, and the 45 into 315. Place the block show string behind then and change hello into an n. It now reads, if the variable degrees is smaller than 45 degrees but larger than 315 degrees, then it shows the letter n from north. Now, click three times on the plus icon. Then retrieve again from logic the block 0 is smaller than 0. Place the variable again and change the second 0 into 135. Place show string and this time type E from east. Your turn. From logic, retrieve the block 0 is smaller than 0 again. Place the variable again and change the second 0 into 225. Place show string and this time type an S from south. and place show string on the last variable and type a w from west. Your turn. Did it work? Super. If it didn't work, rewind the video and check step by step if your script, the blocks, is exactly the same as the example. Now we are going to send the code to your real micro bit. 
To send this code to your microcomputer, we first have to download the code to your computer. Give the script a name and then click on the Save icon. The download will start automatically. In my case, the hex file shows up in the folder Downloads. Now I connect my micro bit to my laptop with a USB cable. A new drive appears, micro bit. Next, I drag the file to my micro bit and voila, there it is. Disconnect the micro bit from the computer. It no longer receives power, so first we have to disconnect some batteries. You do that by placing the batteries into the battery holder. Then connect the plug to the micro bit. Did it work? Good job! Now take a hike with your micro bit compass. Great that you joined us and see you at the next mission.